Hi, it's Paul Feuerstein here, technology editor of Dentistry Today. And I'm here with a friend from Boston, Alina Say, Dr. Alina Say, and neither of us have Boston accents, so you'll be very disappointed to hear this whole thing. And we're here to talk about something interesting. Uh, my, usually my technology has to do with flashing lights and wires and things, but today we're gonna talk about endo. And you say, technology and endo, how could that, what does that make any sense? Well, Rassler Company has come up with a very different way to shape, a, to create a file, to shape canals. And Ali, why don't you take it from there? Yeah, of course. So the, the new uh, instrumentation system that's been uh, now released by Brasser USA is the XP3D uh, file, or instrument if you will, that contains a shaper and a finisher. And this technology is taking advantage of a new uh, night tie wire technology that's recently become available, uh, where the wire shape shifts and transforms from a specific crystalline um, you know, martensitic phase to an austenitic phase at body temperature. And this allows the same file to expand from a specific shape at room temperature, expand to a much larger shape at body temperature. So the file isn't straight. It doesn't look straight at all. It's no, sort it's of a, a, like a little spiral almost. Exactly. It is almost, I'd like to think of it almost like a spring, because in essence it springs up to a wider diameter inside the canal and allows something new called anatomic shaping, which is very different than conventional. Because every canal is not circular, it's this shape like this. So the limitations of conventional nighttime instrumentation in the past has been that we've had to uh, create these round rotary instruments in oval canals. So we've always left out specific areas of the canal, uh, such as the major diameter, sure. and we haven't cleaned those areas out. But now, as a result of this technology, we can get to those areas as a result of the shape-shifting uh, uh, metal wire. Well, I've been watching the animations on this, and it actually, it's like, I, I think it's like, I think of it as like a whip, like a, a lasso of some sort, spin, winding out this way and this way as it's spinning around. Absolutely, it's been compared to a weed whacker, it's been compared <laughs> yeah, to a, a good, right? yeah, exactly. uh, you yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. almost like a blender, but it's doing is it's going inside the canal, but it's by the virtue of this expansion can touch all the canal walls or a far greater uh, percentage of the canal wall, even in an oval shape, than traditional round instruments can, and it shreds the tissue, touches the area, disturbs the biofilm, and that, what has been then uh, shredded, should then be irrigated out. Now, what sort of irrigation are we talking about? Anything specific, or doesn't so matter? So, the conventional irrigation, uh, you know, using a, uh, uh, a side vented needle in to increase the safety, you can use uh, sodium hypochlorite, you could use uh, chlorine, whatever you prefer. Ultimately, the idea is to clean and remove the debris. I, you could even use ultrasonics and water to quickly remove the debris for just the cleaning component part of it. And then you obviously have to use a disinfectant to disinfect the space. So, so you have this, this uh, beat up canal wall and you're gonna be operating at some point, but there's also a finishing system with this too. Yeah. So the shaper does what it basically is, uh, the name uh, says, is shapes the canal. So you create the conventional instrumentation shaping is replaced with this anatomical shaping but there is another instrument called the finisher that could be used in conjunction with the shaper or just in conjunction with conventional instrumentation. So if you, oh, use so you could use, I could use any other, I don't want to, but, <laughs> but I could use any other system yeah. and come back to your, to your finisher exactly. and smooth out my walls and that's gonna have the similar uh, action? Absolutely, so I like to think of the, uh, the finisher or in fact the shaper also as tiny little bottle brushes. The shaper is a stainless steel brush, so it actually scrapes and removes the dentin, so it shapes the dentin. The finisher is kind of a plastic brush. It doesn't remove dentin, but what it does is it touches the walls, so as a result of conventional instrumentation, you end up packing a lot of debris against the walls. It deburs it, basically. Absolutely, that's exactly what it does. It's a mechanical way of touching the surfaces, removes the smear layer, and uh, removes the packed debris into the oval areas of the canal. So how does this impact the, the obturation in, at that point? So the obturation is now you have the oval canal has been completely cleaned out, and the best way to obturate that is using a hydrophilic type of a cement that allows bonding, and that can be done with hydraulic condensation. Uh, that allows the bioceramic cement to flow into these areas and clean them. Uh, and and Brasler has a nice cement, them. I know, for fact. That's the bioceramic seal, it's the BC sealer uh, that allows that to happen with a technique that uh, we've developed here at Rivaldendo, which is hydraulic condensation, which simplifies obturation dramatically 
for the clinicians so that they can get predictable results much, much quicker. So now that this technology is available, we're able to harness its cap uh, you know, capability inside the root canal so that you can get that expansion which creates this brand new generation of files which never existed up until now. So if, if I wanted to learn more about the process, are there CE courses I could take some at different meetings or, or yes. how do I go about this whole thing? Well, there is a, um, uh, a number of uh, continuing education courses on the ground. You can actually go to our website, we're an independent educational uh, company, rewaldendo.com, where you can look at the uh, schedule of our seminars on our website, as well as a number of uh, videos that we prepare educationally for CE as well as just short little educational bits uh, that we share online. So that can be seen at rebuildendo.com. And of course, Brassler has its own also educational uh, website too at uh, Brassler so real, USA. Real, real World Endo. Real World Endo is, uh, yes, that's the educational. That's terrific. I mean, this is, I don't, I, would, I don't know if it's the word evolutionary or revolutionary or a combination of the two. Um, it actually, I'm not a big Endo doctor myself, but it's, it's intriguing to me. I said, I can actually do some things I, I never really thought I could do this. It looks, it almost looks too simple. <laughs> well, you know, there are nuances in terms of the, the way you use it, but the simplicity of it is remarkable because all you need to do is to, in a basic uh, case, you have to get the canal up to a 1502 hand file, oh, okay. and this will anatomically shape it to the actual shape of the canal. If you have a tighter calcified case, get it to a little bit of a wider taper, like a 1504. Uh, and then apply this file. And the beauty of it is that this, the shaper file combines sizes 30 through 55 master cones or master files all in one expanding file. So it dramatically reduces the clutter and the number of files you need to use. So one last question I just thought of is, do I use a traditional speed? Is it a faster speed? Is, or, and how about torque on this also? Exactly, so there is a relationship between torque and uh, speed as the torque reduces, the speed goes up. So the RPM, because of the dramatic reduction in the torque of this instrument, the, um, the speed at which the file is recommended to use is at 800 uh, to 1,000 oh, RPM. Oh, oh, so oh. it's much higher than normal files because well, the torque whip, requirement is much lower. Too. Yeah. Absolutely. Well. So that's basically, it should be actually used at a higher speed, and it's a very important thing to keep in mind. Uh, because this, uh, a higher speed, it creates a little bit more stiffness that allows the, uh, the file to do its job properly. Absolutely fascinating. Absolutely Paul, fascinating. it was a pleasure talking to you. I'll meet you down at Legal Seafoods. There you go. That sounds good. <laughs> Thanks a lot.